Hello there, I'm Vigalius, and I, I, I watched a movie. I did it all on my own. Are you proud of me yet, Mum? I watched, I watched a whole movie all on my own. It was Ad Astra, the, um, oh, what's his name? Brad Pitt, <laughs> it's the Brad Pitt movie. Uh, easily by far and away, not even close, my favourite Brad Pitt movie yet. I mean, uh, 12 Years a Slave, but it, this is, I, I think I prefer Ad Astra. I had an amazing time with this film. I thought it was absolutely, although amazing doesn't feel like the right uh, word to use, uh, given the context, because it's, it's a different film. I mean, it's it's a space film. It's a space astronauty movie, um, but it's not Gravity and it's not Star Wars. <clears throat> it's not the in between bit either. It's um, it's a lot different. It's very slow, very drawn out, um, and quite frankly, not much happens. Quite art housey, um, and for that reason, it's not very accessible. Which is why the critics loved this movie, but the users thought it was kind of below average and didn't really like it very much um, and I'd like to explain why I liked it so much because I feel as though it deserves the merit like it, I really really felt as though this film spoke to me and I, I kind of want to speak on its defense and tell you exactly why I think this um, film is so beautiful um, such a uh, absolutely gorgeous beautiful film um, I'm gonna refer to the director as the director because I just opened my laptop and haven't looked at who it is so I'm very sorry to whoever directed this movie um, but I think whoever it was just created a beautiful concept this isn't uh, this film is just an absolutely gorgeous concept um, and it, essentially the film is set in space you know, it's based around this um, astronaut. Uh, what? God damn it! What is his name? Brad Pitt <laughs> and Tommy Lee Jones, who is his dad, um, and sort of the relationship, the tumultuous re relationship between the two, but the very distant relationship between the two. And he's going on his, you know, space explorations, and he has to thank you for the update, Windows, um, and he has to go on a mission to find his father. Um, and like I said, very paper thin, you know, plot. Um, not much going on there, but it's the concept that really gets me because this film deals with uh, themes of depression and isolation and sort of this self-taught invented solitude that people go through uh, yeah, and it really spoke to me because a lot of the themes during this film are things that I've experienced and that I've gone through and are articulated in a way that I can't say that I've experienced in another, in another film. Um, the, the beauty of it is that you know you see this as a spacey sci-fi film and you know, to to many it would be like, well, where are the space lasers? Where are the gunfights? Or you know, where where are the where are Sandra Bullock and George Clooney? You know, all of this like these these expectancies and the, this conditioning that we've gone through with regards to films like this. But what the beauty of the film is that that is not the reason it's set in space. The, the director did not create a space movie in order to fulfill those expectations for you. He created the space movie because the feeling that he's trying to encapsulate through the subtext of this film of isolation and depression and coldness and emptiness above all else could only be visually articulated in a set like this i've seen so many films that try to create a space for this exact feeling for the emptiness you know in the solitude um and you know you could put your film in a warehouse where you know someone's trying to break out or you know something like bojack horseman and the, the greatest episode of bojack horseman one of the greatest episodes of tv of all time the view from down below you know and have it set on a stage in a theater or something like that but there's always a sense of escape you know in a film like that like the 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 protagonist can break out if they, if they absolutely find the methods with which to do so but in this film the director uses space itself something that we have a physical interpretation of and we can quantify and uses the blackness and emptiness and helplessness and directionlessness if that's a term of space in order to create a completely isolated area that is entirely um, comprehensible but relatable for those who watch it who have experienced that I've never seen a director create a space that felt so much like the sense of emptiness and he does it by using the biggest space that there is and the most inescapable space uh, that there is it's harsh and unforgiving and there's no way out unless of course you know you're resourceful enough which Brad Pitt does end up being but I don't really want to go too much into spoiler territory and what I think is so beautiful about this film is that there are so many films that try like I guess I tried to articulate this and try to create this message but it's so difficult to do because it's a sense and a feeling that is just overwhelming and overbearing and all-consuming and it's so difficult to to pen that or to create that space because you know it's, like I said there's an, always a sense of escapability or like there's some sort of narrative thread going on um, and the director here just completely emptied out that space 
um, and actually created a space that does feel just empty and, and the solitude is just overbearing and you know he just puts Brad Pitt there on his own to face the biggest <laughs> space of nothingness that you could possibly create and in doing so is able to actually create an open window for people who don't who haven't experienced you know these feelings who are going into the film having not known what this feels like maybe you're coaching one of your friends going into the film saying this is how I feel and this is the best way that I've seen of just a Allowing that open door to people who haven't experienced something like this by creating a space that is understandable and that, you know, is just huge <laughs> and it, it just did a fantastic job of creating that space and now it's you know it's the beauty of film you can read a book you could listen to an album about you know solitude and empty space and stuff like that and you can hear people talk about what it's like and the processes of being there. But this is that space and that's the beauty of film is that we do have this entry point and this window into how that feels and it's been tried many times and I think this is one of the best examples of it. It's just Brad Pitt floating through this emptiness and trying to find a way out and he does you know he does go on this sort of soul searching mission and ultimately you know the conclusion of the film is about finding a want for solidarity and obviously that comes in getting away from that empty space um, and accepting that you put yourself in that space and I'm not saying that you know I'm definitely not one of these people who says that you know people who are experiencing things like this myself included put themselves in that space but you are the catalyst and the reason that you're there and I, I think it speaks absolute volumes during this film so absolutely excellent now like I said I, I would I have to recommend this film because I just think it's so tremendous um, it is on Disney Plus and it is on Netflix as well which is fantastic but do bear in mind it's tremendously slow <laughs> and very little happens in the film um, so you know go into that expecting that but it is visually beautiful and um, and absolutely absolutely beautiful concepts and thanks for watching and I'll see everyone later PlayStation is only $149, and you can also get leading titles.